Mr. John Roll, thank you for welcoming us into your beautiful neighborhood, Sheridan. Well, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Tell me what you think is so great about Sheridan. What's beautiful? Well, in so many ways, it is a beautiful neighborhood. It's an old neighborhood with many old houses, homes, establishments. One of the most beautiful establishments that we have is right behind the window here at Langley High School. Beautiful. I think, and many people will agree with me, it's the most beautiful school building in the city of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. Especially My own children garden. went oh. to Langley High School oh, and graduated from Langley High School. Um, it, it's always been a, a, a castle <laughs> in our neighborhood, is the way I like to look at it. And I hope it's here for many, many years to come. Even though we no longer have a high school, mm -hmm. we have... Uh, a K through eight, and all those little children are fortunate enough to be able to attend school in such a beautiful building. All right. I didn't even know it was open. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, yes. What are some of the changes that have happened here that um, you've seen? And... Do you mean good or bad? I, both. Both. Well, on the positive side, we have a very dynamic group of active people in Sheridan. Okay. I'm a member of the Sheridan Kiwanis Club. The Kiwanis Club in Sheridan is, consists of so many wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. people who do so many things for this little community of ours called Sheridan. We sponsor so many events. There's not a month that goes by in a year where the Sheridan Kiwanis isn't sponsoring some event That's in our beautiful. community. Two weeks ago we had the Easter egg hunt. Just this morning, our volunteers were down in the uh, educational building. There's a warehouse here in Sheridan that uh, the companies donate books and pencils and erasers and rulers and scotch tape and you, every conceivable thing that a child could use in school, and it's stored in a warehouse there. And on Saturdays, teachers from all over the area, not just Sheridan, the whole western Pennsylvania area, whose school districts happen to have a majority of people who are on food stamps or, or uh, the, the lunch program, they are allowed to come here and take what they want, That's free. That's beautiful. This morning we were down there loading the shelves up with uh, un uh, uncreating huge boxes and storing school supplies where the teachers come in and check off what they need and so on. And these are all given to these teachers so they can take them back to the schools when the school district can't afford to supply this kind of stuff for kids. And this is all done through volunteers. This is a volunteer organization. Wow. We have the Christmas light up night Every, we decorate Sheridan with, with Christmas ornaments on all the telegraph poles. We have a sing-along for the kids and we provide them with a, an evening of Christmas entertainment. We give them food, we, we have arts activities for them. We have the Halloween parade here for the kids. And I'm talking two groups, the Sheridan Citizens Council and the Sheridan Kiwanis. We combine our activities and provide all of these things for the children. I, I, we, we offer a scholarship every year, a thousand dollar scholarship to a child who lives in Sheridan, regardless of what school they go to, who is excelling and, and can prove that they have involved themselves in community work themselves. Oh. And we already have a winner this year, a remarkable, a remarkable young woman. I, I'm not at liberty to announce her name yet, say. but uh, she attends Kappa High School, but she lives in Sheridan. Okay. And every year we, we donate a thousand dollar scholarship. I, mean, I, I have a list in my pocket. I could sit here and read it to you of all the <laughs> things that we do here in the Sharon Kiwanis Club and in the uh, in cooperation with the Citizens Council. We sponsor the baseball teams and the Meals on Wheels. We provide help for them. We 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 have clothing drives. We maintain awesome. three You've community gardens here where it's <laughs> all volunteer. Yay. Not vegetables, flower gardens okay. to beautify the neighborhood. Green and our most space. recent project is the monument right down in front of Langley High School, the Veterans World War I, World War II monument. We are totally revamping it. We submitted a proposal just recently. We, we had a, a landscape architect come and volunteer his time. He redesigned the whole thing. We submitted it and we won. You did. We are going to totally redesign and remodel the entire monument down here in front of our... Congratulations. Yes, and, and it's, again, it's volunteer. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it from top to bottom so that when people drive over that little bridge mm -hmm. and come into Sheridan, one of the first things they're going to see is that monument that's right there. That's awesome. It says, welcome to Sheridan. And, and uh, 
Uh, and we you also have a very, it. yeah, well, I'm, I'm going on and on I here. Love I, it. Realize. I love it. I'm, I'm saying that you really have a true community connection. Yes, we do. And y'all are yes, really we do. work together. And, and that says a lot. You're not waiting for somebody to do it for you. The Veterans Association, the VFW, right, right up the street here, uh, they are becoming much more active. And they are participating. Our Kiwanis Club meets there. That's They let us meet in their hall. That's where we have our meetings. We maintain the landscaping and the cleaning of the building. And that's how we thank the veterans for doing that. And we, we do this constantly, constantly, week in and week out, year in and year out. I've been in the Kiwanis for 15 years, and we Beautiful. haven't stopped yet, and we aren't going to stop. What are some of the things that you would say are negative? Negative? That you'd like to see changed here? Well, Sharon. you know, litter with a capital L. Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. There's always that mentality that if you throw it out your car window, then you drive past it and it's gone. Mm. And we often have, I don't want to say young people because it's not just young people, but if you take a can of pop in and you stick it in the hedge, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gone. Yes. You may not see it any longer. Mm -hmm. And the people Somebody who really does. see the litter are the walkers. Mm -hmm. People in automobiles, it doesn't register like right. it will if you walk around the streets in any neighborhood in, in any the city. Right. It's the walkers. Number one is probably most of the walkers who contribute to the litter, mm -hmm. but there are an awful lot of walkers who don't, and those are the ones that are often taken back, like, oh, my God. I personally, every so many weeks, get out my hook and clean up Allendale Street. Wow. And I'm not the only one. There are a number of people. In fact, just in last week's Post-Gazette, there was a story of a little boy from Sheridan who was photographed picking up litter over on Zephyr Street here, and they made a full-color photograph in the Post-Gazette. This little cool. child was wonderful. And he so just happy. said he was going to take, this is what he's going to do. And we have people who are willing to do that. The unfortunate thing is the litter's there. Yeah. And even as much as you try to pick it up, two weeks later, you better go back and do it again because it's there all over again. It's kind of hard to keep that pride. Yes. With some people, it really is. Yes, that's one of the drawbacks that I think. I, I think another major drawback and on a grander scale would be the loss of businesses mm. in Sheridan, we lost our post office, which was one of the cornerstones of this little community. Wow. They closed down this last year. We no that. longer have a post office in Sheridan. We have to either go down to the West End or down to Crafton and Ingram to the post office, which can prove to be very uh, inconvenient because we also have a senior citizen high-rise building here, mm -hmm. and there are people in wheelchairs and who mm -hmm. are not able to we also lost our grocery store, I, I was the food say, land. Now, mm. on a brighter scale, uh, we are going to uh, receive a new family dollar is planning to redesign, reopen, and rebuild the property that was once food land. Okay. And they want to extend the property line also and convert it to a uh, perhaps a little coffee shop next door to that oh. and a uh, an area where... Uh, Farmers markets could come in on like on a weekly basis and sell their produce, which would be wonderful. Wonderful. Because if you need anything now in Sheridan, you have to get in your car and drive somewhere else. At one time, this like all neighborhoods, this was a self-sustaining neighborhood. Right. It had everything that you needed in your neighborhood. So you didn't have to take that. There were doctors out. here and dentist offices oh. here and an Isley's and a Bard's and a movie theater and a jewelry store and a hardware store and several automobile uh, gas, gasoline stations. And it was everything that you needed was here. Mm -hmm. And you could walk to it. You didn't need to have a car and drive. Now, now you have to go to the mall or you have to go to the right. shopping center. And for some people, that's easy to do. For others, that's not so easy right. to do. Well, speaking of change, where do you see Sharon in, in 25 years? Oh, boy. I probably won't be here then. Oh, but, don't uh, say so. No, say it's not so. Well, <laughs> uh, 25 years from now, quite honestly, I don't know. I think perhaps a lot of the. I would like. I would like to believe that many of the beautiful old homes in Sheridan will still be here. Mm -hmm. I would like to see, the streets cleaned, patched, newly asphalted. We still have some red brick streets here in Sheridan. Mm -hmm. which 
from an antique point of view, it's like, wow, you don't see that too often anymore, right. but also you don't ride over them very smoothly <laughs> anymore either. Yeah. So th that could be a, an upgraded thing. I would like to, I don't know how realistic, I would like very much to see a high school come back in our neighborhood, oh. as I'm sure a lot of the other neighborhoods are. There aren't very many high schools left in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a boy, I played sports in high school. Now there aren't there aren't that many high school sport teams to play in the city mm -hmm. of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. The league gets shorter and shorter each year. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful sporting field at, at Greenway Middle School. It was where Langley High School played its football games. It's an absolutely gorgeous field, one of the best maintained fields that you will find anywhere in the city of Pittsburgh. Only Langley doesn't have a baseball team or a football team anymore. So some mm. little te teams come in. and uh, But the, the field is not utilized in any way that it it's kind could of sad be. because we're talking about our children's health too yes we yeah. really are we have a beautiful park here in Sheridan for the last several years we have a swimming pool that wasn't open mm. it's a community pool uh, one that of the reasons good. was finances the other reason was the water companies had to go down and put new underwater pipelines in and they tore up the entire field down there and uh, they're starting to put it all back together again. And hopefully uh, last year our pool opened up again. Oh, and great. And we're hoping that it, that will be the story in the future. 25 years from now, I'd, I'd like to see little kids still being able to take a walk down Sheridan Park and go swimming. Go in swimming. Summer, like my little children did. Yes. That's what yes. I would like to see.